morning. So this is Mr. Baby Squirrel. I put him in a little, one of my little bins um, for the evening. And I actually brought him in the house because it got cold last night. And he didn't have his mother or his brothers and sisters to curl up with. <clears throat> Excuse me. So right now he's having hickory nuts, a little bit of pear, and some butternut squash for breakfast. He's not found the squashes and stuff yet. Um, he's still liking them hickory nuts, though. Um, oh, fun times. Um, I'm going to end up taking him back to where I found him yesterday. Um, after all the stuff I read last night, it's possible that, that he's at that age where he is weaned enough to, to hunt food on his own. Um, but he's not 12 weeks old yet, just from everything I read and looking at the images. So he still tends to live with his brothers and sisters. So even if mom was say caught by a hawk, um, Wherever the nest is, he knows where that is. So I'm going to take him back to where I found him. Um, once it warms up just a little. And set him free. And he will probably, you know, look around, kind of get the smells, realize where he's at. And, you know, take off, go back to wherever the nest is. So, yeah. This is day two of Squirrel. You know, the, the cup there, the little lid there, has got water in it. He's had several drinks of water. Um, eating, chewing away. It was really cute. He curled up in the hoodie, made a little nest, and took a nap. You know, the logs are in here to give him something to, to climb on, so, you know, he's not just running around on the slick plastic. Um, but yeah, so I will talk at you later, and when we set him free... So I brought him out here, um, probably about an hour and a half ago, when I started making sure my ravines were clear. I mean, I just kind of set him on my jacket out here, figuring he'd smell something new or familiar and, and you know, go to his house. Um, instead, he just nested in the jacket for an hour and a half, you know, kind of relaxing. Life was great. So now I've taken my jacket, you know, and he's like, damn it. It was warm. Um, and hopefully he'll smell around and figure out, oh, I'm home. You know, this is where the house is. Now, I won't lie, I left the little butternut, butternut squash pieces and the, the um, hickory nuts in a pile right there. So if he needed a snack before he goes on his way, he could have a snack. But I'm truly hoping that, you know, as he's walking around smelling, tell up, he's going to be like, yes, I'm home and go to the nest. Because um, everything I read said that the age that he is now, you know, based off of pictures, etc., cetera, um, he's in the middle of being weaned, um, can forage on his own, likes to go out exploring, but will go back to the nest and sleep with his brothers and sisters. Um, and roughly he's between six and eight weeks old, and they tend to sleep together at night um, until they're 16 to 24 weeks old. So, if he's back where he knows, which is, and this is where I got him, that my, my messy piece of road is right there, and he's just right over here, in front of the logs, but hopefully he'll, you know, smell around, be like, oh, this is home, and go home.
All right, I'm going to step back towards the car and watch him from there. So, I uh, will talk to you later. So he walked around for a minute after I walked off and then he did some, some little cry like he was crying for mom, which was a good thing. It is what I was hoping would happen. Um, now I didn't see mom, but he took off towards the rock pile. Uh, not the rock pile, excuse me, the log pile and has disappeared under the log. So, you know, if I was a mama squirrel, I agree that would be a great place to make a nest because ain't no predators getting to you. Um, I think he's figured out where he was and went home, truly. So, it's a happy ending for Mr. Squirrel, or Mr. Baby Squirrel, and maybe we'll see him again someday running across the road. You'll have a great day. I'll talk at you later.